Alright, two losses, escape, plus the left trying to duel, raise side the vacuum station, all that good stuff. I finally managed to get things going. Keeping Seth alive while also using him as the bait I need to get into the lion's den. The escape supplies are all ready. My route and universal key card are all sorted. I just need a way to rescue Seth before our duel. Plus, there's that guard kid. I dropped him off in a place where there were warnings of fissures potentially opening. He said he's been at this transfer station a while and knows all the fissures and shortcuts around this area. Guess I can only hope that he was telling the truth. Please, please be safe. Oh, so our strong newcomer who's going all out to become a bodyguard is someone who says her prayers, huh? <laughs> Just a little pregame prayer, nothing more. But as for you, don't tell me a majestic mountain lion bodyguard would stoop to eavesdropping. Seems like this will be easier then, given you know I'm a bodyguard. I'm here on the boss's orders to take you to the lion's den. So... Everything is already set up for the fight? No need to shower, get changed, go over the rules, paint up some lion shirts, or anything like that? Nah. <laughs> Come on, I was just kidding, Mr. Bodyguard. You don't have to be so nervous. I'll guide you through the fissure into the lion's den. Razor now. Right in. Gotcha. Just let me pack my things, and then... We leave. Now. <laughs> Why the rush? The lion's den isn't going anywhere. At least let me fix my makeup, okay? Jane, are you going to ignore the rules of the mountain lions? <sighs> fine, fine. Let's go now, then. You lead the way, Mr. Bodyguard. Ugh, it's starting so quickly that I didn't have time to grab my escape supplies. I had a feeling something like this might happen. Looks like I'll have to come up with an escape plan on the fly. Step out of the fissure, Jane finds herself in a completely unexpected place. Is this... Hollow Zero? So the lion's den is hidden inside Hollow Zero. Huh. Sometimes the most dangerous place is also the safest. Those pub sick cowards never go anywhere dangerous, but we mountain lions aren't afraid. So that's it. The mountain lions know the location of a stable fissure leading to Hollow Zero from a companion hollow. Every time they need to escape, they flee to this area in Hollow Zero. That's why public security could never find or catch them. No wonder that transfer station is churning out supplies for anti-corruption serum. They must be used for holing up inside Hollow Zero. Once they're out of danger, they can slip out of the fissure and escape. <laughs> Impressive. That's a risky strategy that only a group as bold and talented as yourselves could pull off. Don't be envious. You'll be joining our group of bold and talented people soon enough. But you have to prove yourself! Hey, what gives? The duel will be just up those stairs there. You can go up once you meet all the requirements. Oh, you wanna get your ass beat, huh? Nobody said anything about a qualification round before the duel. Becoming a bodyguard is the boss's way of acknowledging you, but we mountain lions need to see you prove yourself first. If you want a shot at the duel, then you'll have to make it there on your own. This is also one of our rules. You call that a rule? It's just a way to wear me down before the fight. <laughs> rules are rules. Plus, weren't you praying just now? This little trial should be a cinch for you. Come on, newbie. We're looking forward to seeing how you do. But I want to get that. Right.
smooth and then cast the back of cards. Seriously, oh. another tap. Only three cards. <laughs> they really couldn't come up with anything better to test me. Let's start investigating. The target's over there. You might be sorry. It'll be over soon enough. Great. That's the first access card. It won't be that easy to become a bodyguard. Right. Shut the fuck up. I just need to beat all of you up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rot worth, bro. The pressure is off. Let's keep going. An ambush. So predictable. Oh, hell yeah. Lazy. Great. That's the second access card. Only one more to find. We meet again, Jane. <laughs> so you are here too. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Oops, sorry. A little gift for ya. <laughs> all right, that's all three of them. Time to go and get promoted. All right, promotion time, baby. Along with two other people. Razor, what a great surprise. Are you here to congratulate me on passing the trial? I see you even brought that little pub sec prince with you. Jane, they... Ugh! Shut up, you pub sec maggot. <laughs> Careful with the goods. He's going to be my trophy in a moment. I want to defeat a real, living public security officer. To have the gang cheering my name, and to feel the joy of stomping him into the ground. Shit. Don't spoil my fun. Jane Doe, the new cub of the Mountain Lions. You have completed the path of promotion and earn the recognition of the gang. You hereby qualify as my loyal and trusted bodyguard. It's an honor, boss. But there's one final step to take before you earn your official place in the duel. Whatever you say, boss. But before that... Huh? Turns around to dodge a bodyguard who is a prisoner from behind with a weapon. <laughs> Trying to ambush me, huh? Afraid I'm coming for your position. Guess you couldn't help being anxious. And you even dared to pull a cheap trick like that in front of the boss. Uh, I, I, I was just gonna break one of your hands! Uh, oh, oh, you felt like that. <laughs> You really think I'm gonna forgive you just because you spilled the beans so easily? Kindergarten ended 20 years ago, buddy. Go explain yourself to the boss. <laughs> I don't have to explain anything. Because... Huh? <laughs> Shark hands keeps behind. Break one of her hands. That was my order. Boss, Razor, you, why? Jane, I want you to lose to this pub sec punk in the duel. Then I can go up there and kill him myself. 
As long as you fight well enough, I'll arrange for someone to escort you to a hospital in New Eridu immediately after the duel. This is one of my rules for your promotion. You're asking me to go up there and lose on purpose and pretend it's real? What kind of stupid rule is that? Raise at least four and take the camp on it. You're a cut above the rest, Jane, but you're always missing the point. The rules of the fight, the rules of promotion, my rules. The point isn't the rules, it's that they're mine. <laughs> Me, Razor. I'm the only authority. I'm the only explanation. And I'm the only leader. I am the Mountain Lion. And only I represent the Mountain Lions. I need bodyguards who can protect me and my reputation, not some stinking ambitious rat. You've already defied me twice now in front of everyone, strutting your stuff around in my gang. I've been lenient enough to not just get rid of you, so you'd better listen to my orders now. Understand? <laughs> so, this whole circus is just because you're afraid of losing faith and status? I thought you might have figured out my secret. <laughs> but it turns out a stopped clock is right twice a day. Secret? What do you mean? Yes, sir. <laughs> The same narrow-minded thinking and boring ambitions. All you're doing is fighting for power like stray cats on the street. How ridiculous. You think you're all that with your arrogant attitude. That's what I hate about you. But it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time. So, let me teach you a little something about my rules. <laughs> you brat! What are you doing? I can't stand dishonesty! I've heard enough and I've taken enough! You demand loyalty, but will sacrifice your companions on a whim for your own greed! Jane, do you get it now? The filthy nature of these gangsters! If you would have just agreed to my terms, we could have avoided all this nonsense! I agree but you're to just your so terms. obsessed with. Uh, hang on. What did you say? I agree to your terms. Turning over a new leaf, changing for the better. Okay, I agree. Uh, huh? <laughs> I mean it. Just try pulling on the cuffs with both hands. It's no use. The muscle relaxants have. Huh? They broke. My strength is back. But how? You sweat more being agitated, and you drink a lot of water, right? I don't want to talk about the bathroom, Jane. Urination plus sweating speeds metabolism enough to almost completely process the medicine. So that's why you made me drink Enough! All the Jane, now you betray me? Well, you heard him. I'm tired of the drama. I'm done, and I can let myself out. I've already got the key. My card? You swiped it when you were getting beaten up? <laughs> Fine. Even better. I'll just kill the traitor then. It'll boost my rep all the same. I'll show you how much weight. Yo, James goes. <laughs> Let's rotate. 
influence. to fight so save your breath what you think you're the big boss man now that razor isn't around anymore <laughs> still acting smug even though it's the end now huh you'll regret hurting the boss all you talk about is the boss and follow him around like a little lap dog what did you like about him anyway how loud he got when he was cussing you out you went to that <laughs> goddamn <laughs> your mouth am i wrong i never saw razor show you any kindness yet you still liked him don't tell me you see him as a father figure uh, jane i think that's enough you hear that even the pub sec officer thinks you're pathetic <laughs> the big bad daddy who cusses Bruh, every day no way. and yet you still miss him what are you a bunch of daddy's boys uh, hang on, I did not say that. I said shut up! You, you traitor! I'm gonna make you pay! We cubs of the mountain lions will... Uh, actually, cubs isn't completely accurate. I certainly didn't think of Razor as a father figure. I know! It's just a metaphor, get it? Don't let that sewer rat toy with you anymore! We've got them surrounded! Get them! Oh, oh, what's going on? Was that coming from the fissure? Oh, it's, oh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You finally caught up. <laughs> Captain Zhou Yuan! Jingyi! Everyone! And... You! You're that guard kid! You're still alive? How? You're surrounded. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Later, tracing. <laughs> Wait, you yawn at work too, Chingy? Aren't you an automaton? Yes, but that's irrelevant. Exhaustion is a state of mind, not the body. Or to put it another way, yawning is like the soul burping from eating too much boredom. Plus, yawns are contagious. No way. 
There's no way I'll yawn before the captain gets out of the commendation meeting. Ah, <sighs> oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to your elders. Anyway, I'm bored right now, so could you do that thing again, Seth? What? No, I don't want to. Don't be shy. Here, I'll help you start. <clears throat> captain, please listen to me. I'm with a mountain lion bodyguard called Jane. I'm supposed to arrest her, but I persuaded her to turn over a new leaf. I'll bet my reputation that she can change. Captain, please trust me. <laughs> Come on, Chingy. Enough already. And then Juyuan replies. Seth, let me introduce you. This is Jane Doe, a criminal behavioral expert who's been working with us for a long time now. She's part of the operation as an informant. I'm sorry that the situation was a bit complicated this time. I'll tell you more details later. Captain, is the meeting over? <laughs> How could I forget? Especially with your funny expression at the time, Seth. But don't be upset. It's thanks to you and Jane that we could finally wrap up this whole operation. You can be happy about that. Speaking of which, what about Jane? Why isn't she here for the secret commendation? Apparently, there's a new case that requires her as a consultant, and she's already set out to make preparations. She said she needed to go repay a favor first. The ramp play video is on 6th Street, yeah, for... Still crooked? Mm, I think a little to the left? No, no, try a little to the right. Well, we've been over this three times already. Just give me an accurate answer so I can hang up this business license. And if you can't tell, then ask Fairy to help you. Come yeah. on, bro, how can you say that? I'm totally serious in watching you hang it, aren't I? Fine. So is it still crooked now, or...? Mm, a little more to the left? Uh, <laughs> a little to the right. What a hassle. A real hassle, huh? But the smile on your face is lighting up the... Huh? You're... You're the Rat Thyrid... <laughs> Glad you remember me. Am I interrupting something important here? Not at all. I was just getting back at my brother for always making me eat noodles whenever we go out shopping. <laughs> so that's how it is. You can come down now, Mr. Manager. It's hanging perfectly straight now. <sighs> oh, my hands are sore now. Thanks for rescuing me there. Are you here to return the video? That's right. I brought back your copy of the Port Peak. Got it. Hmm. Well, the tape doesn't seem damaged at all. Great. I'll just get your deposit back for you. So how was it? Is your friend hooked on it now? Huh? <laughs> My friend? Who do you mean? Huh? Last time, didn't you say that you were renting it out for a friend? You said that he pretends to be brave, but is actually a wimp. Just like my bro, he... I can hear you, you know. Um. Ah, right. I guess I did say that. Sorry, my memory isn't the best. I even forgot what my friend said about the movie. <laughs> to compensate, let me register for your highest tier membership. And I'll buy your highest value gift card. Plus, I'll be sure to recommend your store to all my friends. Okay? Oh, no, no worries at all. I'm always the one who forgets things. But let me get that membership card for you right now. Thanks for your patronage. Your gift card is ready. May I ask your name for the account? You can call me... Jane. See? I think that's all of Jane's story, too. She finally got through it, and... I think the next part is gonna be the biker. You can break, yeah, we did it, baby.